All right, uh, yeah, my friend in, uh, around in Chicago, in the outskirts of Chicago, in a town called Cicero, 14 years old, uh, Richard Garcia. Uh, he was gang affiliated and all that, but he was just a young, uh, young kid, you know, 14 years old. I'm 21, I was 11 at the time this happened. Uh, he was coming across the rail, uh, the, the train, uh, the train rails, whatever, and uh, he got shot by this, uh, another gang, got shot uh, in the chest, near the lung, in the arm and in the hand. And on the way to the hospital, which is all the way in Chicago, uh, the cops stopped him just to interrogate him and know his name and uh, asking him questions like, what's his name? And, you know, they, they wouldn't respond because uh, it was taking too long. And then by, they took like uh, two, more than 20 minutes. Then uh, they were stopped by the, they were stopped by Cicero police then. Then they went to Chicago, stopped by the Chicago police for like 15 minutes and were asked questions. Then that police did take him to the hospital, but by the time he got to the hospital, he was dead. 14 years old, you know, and, and the thing about gangs is that a lot of people look at these game bangers like, oh, you know, they're just game bangers, but he was 14 years old, man. Nobody could have taught him anything better. I wasn't into that as well. I was young. I didn't know any better. That's, that was my neighborhood. That's all I knew, you know, so you should have more mercy, both the people and the, the police officers about young kids that are in gangs. And they could have interrogated him after he was in the hospital. They didn't yeah, have to yeah, slow they, down the process. Exactly. He was dead. They could have saved his life. He, he was shot near the lung, but not in the lung. He, he might have been. They might have been able to save his life. You know, just another story of Chicago. You know, people getting killed all the time. Cops not giving a damn. Yep. Just another story like that. Thanks, man.